Hello everybody, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Cyberlink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in, not in Power Director Ultimate, but actually in a preview program where I want to show you the results of what we're going to do first, and then I'll show you how to do it. This is a cool effect you see a lot of times in promotions, advertisements, and you see it in actually movies uh, during title sequences. We have a scene here of a street, and we have a title that's going to appear in a moment. And then we have a man who enters the scene and he actually seems to walk in front of the title and right through the scene. Now that's pretty cool. You may have seen that in some places and you could accomplish it of course by using a blue screen, have the man shot in front of a blue screen and layer him over the other two layers. But I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it here in PowerDirector. So I have the scene of the background of the street itself on video track one. I'm just going to turn off video track two for a moment so you can see it. The man is in the scene there in the background. And then on track two, I have a very basic title, an aerial title with a border around the outside so it's easy to read. And I've layered it on the horizon level here on the street. Now to create my effect, or to create the effect of the man being in the foreground, I'm going to drag the clip of the street down to video track three. So now I have a sandwich here between two clips of the street. I have the title and now all I need to do is create a mask of the man showing the title around him but wherever the man appears the title will be invisible because I'm going to mask the background around him and only he will appear in place of the title. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to select the clip here on video track 3 and then go to tools and select mask designer. Here in Mask Designer, there are a number of preset masks and there are opportunities here to create a custom selection mask. So I'm going to take the video of the man crossing the street. I'll position the clip to right about where he's going to cross in front of the text and then I'm going to draw a custom selection mask with my little Bezier tool. You can see as I do, we can see the text. Don't worry about the text. It's not going to disappear just yet. But I'm selecting just about eight points here. And when I click on the last one, my mask is created. This is the initial, and you can see there's a keyframe there on the little timeline. This is the initial point for my mask as he walks through the scene. So now we'll take him through the scene. We could do this pretty precisely. I'm gonna do it kind of not so precisely at first. As I drag the mask to different positions, now he does hold up in the middle of the street and stands there for a little while. Maybe I want to make an adjustment here just to reposition it. And then at some point here, he's going to start walking. Let's see. So we're actually masking the top layer so that only the man appears and everything around him is transparent. So we're seeing layers two and one behind him. So if that makes any sense here, trust me on this. Okay, now he's starting to move, so we're going to start to follow him until he goes off the scene. And we'll reposition the mask to right there. Now, this is uh, rough, but let's see how it looks. We'll just play through here and see if we're getting the effect we want. Not too bad. Now, parts of him are getting cut off in places. Parts of the, uh, the background here are not precisely matched to him, but we can get very, very, very precise. Now, at this point, what I usually do is I will go to the point where the actor is just crossing in front of the text, right about here, and I'm going to go one frame at a time. So if I click on this little icon right here next to the 3D, it shows me a full screen of the actor in front of the text. And now I can get very precise. You notice the play controls down at the bottom of the screen. I can actually go one frame at a time. So click on the next frame. I can see that uh, I'm cutting in. It's not very well matched to him. So I can go by clicking on this little X next to the 3D, go back to the close up, select my mask or select that keyframe and change the keyframes just a little bit on the shape of that Bezier. I'm Go back out to my full screen, go a couple more, not too bad. We're getting a little bit, we're starting to break up here, go back in. And this can be a very, very specific task. So you can get this very precise. We're going one frame at a time, making sure that every single one of these matches the effect perfectly. 
not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. We're starting to break up in here. So I'm going to go back down and move some of these points around so we can see the man's pants. And I continued to do that the whole way through. The result I thought was terrific. Let me show you the result again. But again, it's as simple as masking everything around the man on the third layer. So we're seeing the first and second layer behind him. And it appears that he is walking right in front of the text. A pretty cool effect and one that is fairly simply done here in Cyberlink Power Director using the mask designer and a couple layers of video. Now, if you want to know more about these kind of tips and tricks and all the cool stuff you can do with Cyberlink Power Director, check out the tutorials at our website, moviepicks.com. You want to know everything about Cyberlink Power Director? Be sure to pick up a copy of the moviepicks.com guide to Cyberlink Power Director Ultimate. I'm the guy who wrote the book, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.